What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you had a good week. Today we are going to be continuing our countdown series on the top 10 pastors of today. So let's delve in. Top 10 pastors today. Number 9, Emilio Ramos. Emilio Ramos is the pastor elder of Heritage Grace Community Church in Texas. He is also the author of the book Convert from Adam to Christ. In this work, Emilio uses both inspired scripture and ecclesiastical writings to help the reader better understand the mysteries of conversion. While this title by the Texas pastor has certainly helped many understand the difference between true and false conversions, in Christian circles, Pastor Ramos is still primarily known for his fiery street preaching. For over a decade now, Emilio has boldly declared the true gospel of Jesus Christ on many college campuses and street corners. The Baptist leader never neglects to declare the whole counsel of God to his audience. While Pastor Ramos certainly emphasizes the grace, mercy, and love of God, unlike so many of the weak-willed leaders of today, Emilio also stresses repentance and God's holiness, wrath, and justice. Folks, as sure as you're walking down the sidewalk here tonight, you will walk up to the throne of God on the day of judgment and have to give an account for your life. Listen to the words of Jesus. Jesus said, every word that you have ever spoken, every word, you will have to give an account on the day of judgment. That's because God knows the secrets of men's hearts. In many of his street messages, the heritage elder is forthright when detailing his life of sin before his conversion. He often mentions what he calls his false sorrow repentance prior to his true Christian repentance. Also, like Dr. James White and Jeff Durbin before him, Emilio, in his defense of the Christian faith, holds to what is known as presuppositional apologetics. I myself prefer Dr. Scott Oliphant's term, covenantal apologetics over presuppositional personally. So what is covenantal apologetics? Well, let me just mention three of the ten tenets that Dr. Oliphant has outlined in relation to this system of Christian defense. Firstly, the faith that we are defending must begin with and necessarily include the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who, as God, condescends to create and redeem. Secondly, God's covenantal revelation is authoritative by virtue of what it is, and any covenantal Christian apologetic will stand on and utilize the authority of Scripture in order to defend Christianity. Thirdly, and I believe this is a really important point that we must always remember, it is only the truth of God's revelation, together with the work of the Holy Spirit, that brings about a change in the heart of someone from being dead in Adam to becoming alive in Jesus Christ. This third point can help us immensely in being more patient, kind, and gentle with unbelievers in our evangelistic efforts. When we recognize that it is only the Holy Spirit alone who can bring about change in a person's heart, it takes the pressure off of us and helps us enjoy what a privilege it is that we, as believers, can be instruments of the Holy Spirit as he changes minds and hearts. Now I recognize that Emilio's apologetic does not align with those of men like William Lane Craig and Frank Turek. But if you take the time to watch YouTube videos in which Jeff and Emilio are utilizing reformed apologetics, and then compare their system with that of evidentialists like Mike Winger, you will definitely see a marked difference. When covenantal apologetics is done by well-trained reformed men like Emilio, unbelievers are always left unapologetus, that is, without a defense. In addition to being a masterful Christian apologist, Pastor Ramos is also the founder of Red Grace Media. RGM is a God-centered ministry that is designed to make biblical truth accessible and informative on a wide range of issues. The official website is at redgracemedia.com, and there is also a YouTube channel affiliate. The ministry focuses on the celebration of the redemptive grace of God in Jesus Christ as it unfolds in the pages of Scripture. RGM is driven by a passion to exalt the Christ-centeredness of Scripture and uphold the doctrine that the Christian scriptures contain both the Old and New Testaments. RGM operates under three headings, Evangelical, Evangelistic, and Reformed. Each of these headings uniquely typifies what the ministry is all about. They are evangelical because the members are unapologetically gospel-centered and Bible-driven. They are evangelistic because their desire is to spread a particular evangelistic passion throughout the church in accordance with the Great Commission. They are Reformed because they hold to the central tenets of Reformed theology and believe that only solid Reformed theology can best represent true Christianity in the anti-doctrinal and postmodern world which we live in. I highly recommend that Christians incorporate Red Grace media material into their regular listening content. You will certainly find RGM beneficial. 
Overall, Emilio Ramos is an excellent evangelist, Christian apologist, and pastor elder. God has certainly been gracious to us by blessing us with a gifted man like Emilio to assist us in our learning and growth in the Word of God. Ladies and gents, if you have your own thoughts, be sure and leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right, and then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have an awesome week, and for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.